Telephone? Bones! Here, Bones! Oh, Bones! He must have lost his dog. Hey, Bobby! Let me help you. Who are you? Take it easy, fella. My name's Handy. Maybe I can help you. Now, what's your trouble? Well, well, I lost my dog, Bounce. And nobody's home but me. I whistled for him, and I tried to telephone my mother. You just didn't do it right, Bobby. It's easy if you do it right. Now, now, don't worry. You want to find your dog, don't you? Yeah. Well, I've found lots of dogs. You know, I find cats, too. You do? How? It's easy. Why, in Telezonia, where I come from... Telezonia? Well, where's that? That's where I'm taking you, Bobby.
he's lost his dog. Lost dog, Jase, huh? Well, Bobby, what kind of a dog is he? Well, well, he's brown. And shaggy. His eyes are black as coal. He's always smiling. And he's liable to go almost anywhere. <laughs> Listen, he reminds us not to dial until we hear the humming sound. Huh? That's the dial tone. See? All the way down to the finger stop. Now let the dial go back. That's what you didn't do right at home, Bobby. Want to see what happens when you dial? These machines put through your call, but bring the dial all the way around, or the machines won't get the number you want. Do you know what that sound is, Bobby? Sure, that's Grandma's telephone ringing. Let's give them plenty of time. They may be in some other part of the house. We've waited about a minute. Then we've given them plenty of time to answer. Think, where else might we call your mother? We might try Mrs. Hill. Do you know the number? I'm not sure, but I think that it's so. Uh... Better be sure. Let's look in the directory. If you use the wrong number, you won't get the person you want. Lots of people named Hill. On Elm Street. Hmm. Here's the number. On the other telephone. That's right. The line is busy. And when you hear the busy signal, you should hang up right away. Let's wait a few minutes before we make the call again. Well, while we're waiting, let's call the dog catcher. Oh, Bobby, the dog catcher will help us. We often find lost dogs there. Will you call the dog catcher, please? There isn't any dial. In some places, telephones don't have dial. Number, please. When you pick up a telephone without a dial, a light tells the operator you want to make a call. Number, please. When you give her the number. Thank you. She puts through your call. The operator is your friend. Remember to be nice to her. She's always nice to you. Thank you. City Dog Pound, Mr. Wagner speaking. Bound, say. I'll take a look. Shall I call you back? All right, then. Hold the line. I'll look. 
isn't there. Where else could he be? The butcher. Sometimes he goes there for a bone. I think the number... Better look it up. Remember, if we call a wrong number, we just waste time and bother somebody, too. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got a number. There's a way to find her in the dog in our telephone book. Somewhere. There's a boy here, Bobby, who loves a dog, and we had to find out... Huh? Well, it's very important. Oh, no, Mumble Voice, take that candy out of your mouth. You'll never help that way. They can't tell what you're saying. I said I want to hurry up. I want to call a dog catcher. We have a big little dog. Don't mumble. Speak so people can tell what you're saying. And straight into the mouthpiece, oh, too. Oh, a red, red dog, and, and we... What? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. The main line... Well, Operator can't understand. Jimmy again. 
This has been a presentation of the Library of Congress. Visit us at loc.gov.